Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a rare sight for us, the 2024 M240i. And strangely enough, this is a dealer stock car. Usually we have the waiting list for the M240i, but someone dropped out of this one, so we expect it this way. It's really well equipped. So obviously it's the G42 chassis and the very lovely Melbourne Red. See, we got the shell line package and the lighting package, which I think is technically a premium package. I'm getting the M2 confused here. So shell light lights means no gold accents here. We've got our blacked out grill. You see parking assistance package, you see the camera right there. And below it, active cruise control. Take a step back and take in Melbourne Red. Over on the side, we have the style 893M wheels, which are the wheels to get the cooling and high performance tire package, which means you get the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Red M Sport calipers, which are slightly larger, along with a larger rotor, as well as extra oil cooling, but looks pretty nice. Also in red, sort of matches with the rest of the car. Again, I'll note, as with the other vehicles I'm filming today, prior to PDI or pre-delivery inspection, which means it's not ready for prime time, it's fresh off the truck, so still got a lot of shipping stuff on it. Some systems not working, as well as a little bit on the dirty side. So, out back, we have the Gurney flap in high gloss black. M240i badging in cerium gray, curiously. Our faux diffuser in high gloss black, dual exhaust. You could also opt for the M performance exhaust, which we've had on at least one of these M240i's before. There's that three quarters view again. Melbourne red, for whatever reason, not a really popular color across the limited cars it's on. I think it's only on the 2 Series and 3 Series. The other reds being Toronto Red, which are on the M cars. But I think it's a really good color. Considering I have a 230i, at least for my wife, for her daily. Let's go on inside, go over pricing and options on this vehicle. Of course, one maybe drawback, if you want to think about it that way, is the moonroof is standard. You cannot delete the moonroof, but you can do so on the 230i, which is a little bit on the weird side. All right, so opening up, we have the black perforated Sensatec, and of course you can go with Cognac, which would be my usual go-to with the red and tan society. But black is another sort of safe option to pair with Melbourne red. Seats are nice and comfortable, do have pretty good bolstering. Then because it does not have the um, leather, you don't get side bolsters this one, and then Lumbar support is actually an option on this car. This one does not have it. So on the inside, your standard M uh, sport steering wheel. No stitching here. So imagine that is fixed for the LCI. M badging, heated steering wheel, shift paddles. And in front of me, iDrive 8, live cockpit, heads up display the rest of the iDrive 8. Then you've got our illuminated M trim here. You see part of it there, and then also on the door card. But the rest of the trim is the Lumen Rhombosil Anthracite trim in the center console area. Got your gear selector nub, start stop button, and iDrive controller. All right, so starting price of the M240i, $49,700. Paint is $650, census tech included. 400 bucks for shell line package, parking assistance package for another 700. Premium package for 1950, the cooling high performance tire package for another 2400. We got aluminum rhombosil anthracite for 150, illuminated M trim for 200 bucks. Active cruise control for 500 bucks, that works pretty well. Carmen card and sound system for 875. Floating hub caps for another 165, all told MSRP of this particular example just a little bit under $59,000. But you get a lot of car for the uh, package. All right, we'll hop into the back seat. 
and show you what it looks like back here. All right, so here's the view from the back seat. And then no climate control zone in the back here, so that was removed for 24. Knee room and leg room, yeah, decent wise, but this is not exactly where I sit normally. But the big compromise is going to be really headroom here in the back of the 2 Series Coupe. All right, let's move to the back here. And no kick to open. There's no power tailgate. Cargo area is pretty decent sized. Of course, you can also fold down those rear seats. Now make away the front, pop the hood. All right, so underneath the hood, B58, inline six, three liter turbo engine, 382 horsepower, 369 torques. That's it for a quick tour around the M240i. We'll see you at the next video.